All right, we're here to go over power turns today. Uh, again, a very key component to today's game with so much speed and so much explosiveness. Very important to be able to have an escape move. Great to be in gear so that if we can try this move, again, getting used to our MLX skates, really getting used to using our hips to control the motion and to control the speed. Remember, the goal of a power turn is to come in and out of the power turn with as much speed as you can, not decelerating and then have to re-pick your speed all back up, causing a loss of energy and of speed. So great to be in gear, great to make sure your breezers are on, great to make sure your elbow pads and your helmet's on, so that if you go down and you take a spill, it's no big deal. Also, a great place to do this is in center ice, so you're not doing this right into the half wall or the end wall, and then you take a nice digger and uh, potentially get hurt. So we want to make sure today that, that we go out, we'll maybe do a couple crashes here, really throw your hips over, really making sure again that those hips lead the action. The hip is always leading that action in here, always leaning with the hip. So coming in, getting that hip over, and then that hip is over again. So again, the first move is to really lean that hip as close as we can to the ice, okay? Trying to keep the hips basically level to the ice and really throwing that hip over to the side is gonna start your motion, okay? So very elusive, very tough to defend, okay, when you use those hips. But if you start using your foot just to turn, okay, you're gonna have difficulty turning very sharp. Much easier for the defenseman to get a guy that's gonna go wider than a guy that's gonna be able to come very tight. So the more you throw your hip, the more you do your warm up, the more you do your flexibility training, okay, the better chance you have to use your skates, to use your MLX skates to get out of a tight situation. Some of the wrong ways to do it, just so the viewer at home understands how to get that done. Some of the things that can go wrong in a power turn is too much lean this way, we'll call that too much tilt. When you tilt too much this way, there's a good chance you're going to rub your boot, okay, or you're going to go out just because of the angle that you're trying to turn on. Again, it's a nice smooth turn here. When you practice, it doesn't have to be overly fast, okay. The faster you're going to go, the more you're going to fan your foot out and you're going to actually skid down, okay. But we don't want to try to get the legs separated. That's another flaw here of coming in and getting so separated and then coming back in. Okay, when you get so separated here, now when I want to take a crossover step, I got to move my weight all the way up to the front of my foot. Okay, I separate here, move my weight, and then I cross over. I want to come in, drop my shoulder here, and then roll right through and come out. Okay, good speed, good flow, doesn't have to be anything fast. Not too fast, Nate. Okay. That's it, nice and smooth. Let those MLX skates do the work. Let those skates do the work, that's it. Good, okay, all right, Grant, your turn. That's it, set those hips, get some good lean. Excellent, looking where you're going. Okay, getting that head around, that's it. Well done, okay. That's how we do some power turns. Again, the beginning steps of how to learn how to do a, a power turn correctly, okay, starts with being able to move that hip over the top of the skate. Okay, these skates, you're not gonna have the ability to manipulate that foot in the boot. Very important to learn to control that skate with the hip. Okay, so when you use those MLX skates at home, start to learn to use those hips and start to train for skating so that you can use those hips on the ice and you can be very explosive.